Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about fascicular ventricular tachycardia. Fascicular ventricular tachycardia is also known as Belhassen VT. Infra intra fascicular tachycardia, parapamil sensitive VT, and narrow complex VT. So it is the most common idiopathic VT of the left ventricle. It is a re-entrant tachycardia typically seen in young healthy adults without structural heart disease. These attacks are usually precipitated by exercise, excitement, and infection. It is characterized by right bundle branch block pattern and left axis deviation. Barapamil is the first line treatment. So it is usually seen in young adults, 15 to 40 years of age, it mainly affects the males. The most frequent clinical presentation is paroxysmal episodes of palpitations, dizziness, and less frequently syncope. Tachycardia myopathy has been described in around 6% of cases, a result of persistent tachycardia, and it is usually reversible after successful ablation. Although most of the occurs at rest, exercise, emotional stress, and catechol infusion can act as a triggers. <coughs> the ECG changes you can see is as monomorphic ventricular tachycardia. Normally, what we see is in ventricular tachycardia, generally there is a broad complex QRS. We will see a broad complex QRS, but here the QRS is uh, narrow or normal. That is 100 to 140 milliseconds only, and there is a short RS interval. That is onset of R wave to nadir of S wave. That is the tip of the S wave. So onset of R to nadir of S. So that is onset of R wave to nadir of S wave is around 6 to 80 milliseconds. But it is usually generally it is usually more than 100 milliseconds in other types of VT. You can see here the nadir of this one to the uh, onset of R wave is less than this is around 6 to 20 milliseconds. But usually more than 100 milliseconds in other types of VT. And usually she is RBB pattern. You can see here RBB pattern. You can see RBB pattern with there is a left axis deviation here. So this is a classical uh, narrow complex tachycardia. You can see here narrow complex tachycardia usually seen in case of what is called as idiopathic fascicular VT. So there are three types of uh, um, fascicular VT. One is posterior fascicular VT, which is 90 to 95 percent of cases where there is a RBB morphology plus left axis deviation. It arises close to the left posterior fascicle. Next is anterior fascicular VT, that is RBV morphology plus right axis deviation. Another form, there is the upper septal fascicular VT, which can have a atypical morphology. Diagnosis and management. Diagnosis can be difficult, and this rhythm is often misdiagnosed as SVT with RBBB. The diagnosis is made by observing specific phases of VT that are like fusion or capture bits or AV dissociation. Idiopathic fascicular VT may prove difficult to treat as it is often unresponsive to adenosine, vagal maneuvers, and lignocaine. However, it is soon found that it is characteristically responsive to verapamil. So you can see here, this is a, a capture bit. You can see here, the presence of capture bit and the fusion bit goes more in favor of ventricular tachycardia. It is a narrow complex one and there is short RS interval. So this is all about fascicular VT. Thank you.